I just gotta stop. <laughs> the world ain't right without you, baby. Okay, I'm done singing. Alright, K-Bar, throwing knives. I've got the SOGs around here somewhere I need to do a little video about. It's just good to kind of get someone else's feel. If uh, if you're constantly throwing knives all the time and you run into a knife, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, I don't like these because of this or I don't like these because of that. And it's good to do that. The ones that I recommend to everyone that's a beginner and wanting to get into knife throwing is definitely the cold steel throwing knife set. I always talk about that. I haven't tried these yet. And I'll let you know how I feel about K-Bar. It's all in the name. And I want to know if it's if it's just the name is what you're buying here or if it's if they actually do perform pretty well. And that's what I want to do. I want to try them out. I want to see how they work. And first off, I want to get them out of this package. I'm going to pull you around here and we'll open them. to get someone's take on something before you go out and buy it and I have a variety of, of knife sets and some of those I've I've gotten from Bud K which I've never had a problem with I you know I've lost a few tips along the way and I've had to uh, file them out and it's just something you do when you're throwing knives anyway so it doesn't really matter but I want to get these guys busted open here I have not opened these yet. I've, they've been sitting on my counter and I haven't tried them out yet. And so I'll take you guys through my experience with these and my first look and my take of these things. All right. They're heavy duty. I know that. I can feel uh, the weight of these things. Yep. You've got uh, the same kind of thickness as you would with a cold steel throwing knife. And uh, like all throwing knives, there's no point for this. <laughs> Get the point, right? There's no point for that. There's no, there's no blade. There's no edge. Everything's nice and smooth. So you can throw it different ways. It's got a good feel to it. Looks like you could even wrap these. It's got the holes for the wrapping. And they do come branded with K-Bar. And they have their logo there. I'll bring that in so you guys can take a look at it. It would be really cool if, uh, you know, if I, you know, from experience, you know, you can everyday carry stuff like this. If that's something that you like to do, if there's something you're really into, a lot of folks out there will say, well, you know, who's going to carry knives? Well, someone who throws knives, there are people out there that are that good that they feel pretty confident that they can land one of these shots. And it's just something that is like carrying a bow and arrow. What kind of folks would carry a bow and arrow uh, out to uh, to get a kill or something like that? It's going to be someone who knows how to use one. And same thing applies to throwing knives. Now, these have got some really good weight, really good balance to them. I'm really excited to get to throw these. Then these I bought with my own money. I found them. I went to Amazon. I'll put the link below if you want to go there. But I I found them on Amazon, just kind of chilling there, because I was just looking at some cheap throwing knives to, to throw around in the backyard. And it's something I like to do for fun. It's kind of like horseshoes, right? 
and I was digging around for some uh, some an extra addition to my sets of throwing knives. So I have another set, a stack that I can grab and start throwing. And I ran into these guys. And now, let's see. There's your little, let's see if it's like a warranty or something. Oh, yeah. Limited lifetime warranty. So it's limited. It depends on what you do with it, right? That's usually the case. Nice little sheath. Pretty, pretty thick sheath. It's not like those other ones you get where they're mostly just made out of some sort of cheap nylon material but these have got the slits in them let's see how they line up let's see how that one goes in there there we go that's cool and they all line up fairly well there's no edges to these so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself trying to get these in here and just bring these over and voila and that would be your case all right, let's go throw them at things. All right, let's just give them a try and see how they hold up. You guys. It's always got to be different each time. Target's back up. For you, you like a certain direction or not, right? <laughs> Just missed his head. Got him in the eye. <laughs> Hang on, I know I'm goofing off. Distance, when it comes to a different set of blades, aiming for his head. Caught him that time. Trying to get him directly in the head. I got him that time. They're good. I mean, they've got pretty good balance. Went right over his head. Damn that time. Not a bad set. Yeah, slam them home. It's got a good, good feel for it on the uh, standard knife throw style. It is so hot. So hot. It is so hot out here, I can hardly see. I feel like I'm in the Sahara. Yeah, I do It's like the humidity is like, what, 100? Yeah. <laughs> what, what is this? Why am I sweating so much? Anyway. <laughs> Why? All right. My opinion, it's hot going back in and what I would say or recommend isn't the K-Bar knives. I I don't think I don't think they are as good as the cold steel. You guys have seen me throw the cold steel blades. They they land way easier. Uh, it's not the balance on these, it's just the the overall like the weight. It just it doesn't feel like it has the right weight. And not just that, but the the edges are huge on these things. And so basically, you're going to have to take them. You're going to have to file them out and get some decent edges on these things. Uh, other than that, you're, you're going to be losing it out of the target a lot. It's going to sink or fall back out. And so you're going to have that problem. And usually you don't have a problem like that with these types of targets. But that's that's my take on it. And I'm cooking. I'm going back inside. That's what I got to say. All right. God bless. Take care.